Hey, we'd like to welcome all parents and family and friends here for our closing day ceremonies on this 4th of July weekend. And one of the sweetest things about this weekend uh, is the fact that families get to reunite, get to see each other. One mother called this morning and said, what's the earliest I can come? Because I want to see my child. We think that's great. But we would like to ask three campers to come forward, please, if they would. On the hop, would Abby, Joy, and Ty come forward real quickly, please? The North kids, would you come forward? Thank you. Thank you. We need one more. There you go. Uh, listen, uh, their papa is, a, is in the Army. He's a command sergeant major, and he's been uh, working uh, over in the Middle East, Iraqi freedom, for the past uh, six months. He, he's not due back for a while. And... Uh, and we have a very special surprise for the North kids. If everybody would direct their attention up here to the top of the summit tower. <laughs> So kids, is it pretty exciting to see your mom? Yeah, what, tell me some of your feelings. I was really surprised. I was really surprised and it was great for my mom. Um, I got in really late last night, so I stayed at a friend's house, so I didn't ruin the surprise for today. <laughs> and when did, you, when did you start planning this? Um, I planned it a long time ago in Afghanistan. I was gonna actually walk in during their lunchtime at school. And uh, I found out last minute they both had a field trip the same day at the zoo. So I planned this in about 10 minutes last night. How's it feel to be home? It feels amazing, especially to have these two. I miss them so much. <laughs> what are some of the little things you miss about your kids? The little things, them fighting and bickering and not wanting to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Getting them ready for school, every, everything. I miss everything. And how about mom? What do you miss about mom? What I miss about mom is her yelling at me to clean my room. <laughs> you miss that, huh? <laughs> Are you going to spend any time at the zoo this afternoon? Yeah, we're going to walk around the zoo. They want to stay here and hang out, so we'll do that. That's fine. Anything they want to do. I gave them the option. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're hanging on pretty tight there. I miss them. Okay, mom. It's recording, right? Wait a minute. Let me hear the video. Let me hear the video. Let me hear the video. Hi. Man, so I'm going to go over the bar. Don't drop it, y'all. Don't drop it. You might need to do that outside because it's too heavy. Okay.
Everybody's waiting. <laughs> I feel like I could have got more. I think I was pointing that way when mom seen it. <laughs> they was both looking, both of them were looking at me. I was like, hey, y'all, look over there. She, she's like, what's going on? What is going on? She was like, why are you sitting on my ex husband and come sit at my table? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I'm like. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Mom! 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 Come tell me how excited you are. <laughs> how excited are you? I can't breathe. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we didn't Nobody knew. I'm glad it's over. My heart. pick you up so I thought I'd bring the camera. She's been always one of these stupid ass camera. And she's like one or two times. <laughs> Let her have her fun. Well they don't have those cameras. Um, okay, okay, let's go. Do so they not have those cameras in Alabama or something? Is no, they don't make them in Alabama.
at the house or giving a concert at the house. I'm serious. Okay, where's your car? I don't think we're we'll going to go. We'll 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 go. Uh, I thought we were on top. Yeah, I thought we were on top. You always know where we park. How, what's going on? Oh. Funnier going on around here? I don't understand. What what is the deal? Not sure what's going on here. Oh, what's that? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Look at this, uh, this big bone. Huh? The what? You didn't see Isn't it? Isn't that a pretty I red thought that's bow. what you saw first, so you knew. wonder what that ball is. What's that ball for? What the hell is going what on around here? What is going on? Well, wait a second. I thought you were going to get amused. I was. Oh. Hey, and is that like the checked out package with the fancy wheels? Wow, four doors. And there's four doors? And it's Look at those wheels. wheels. Those wheels are upgrade wheels. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> upgrade. Santa, each child with a very special request. Twin babies. But seven-year-old Reagan Walter's wish is unlike the others. Well, I want for Christmas with my dad. That's pretty much the only thing. A tough order even for Santa. Well, you know, Santa do the very, very best he can on these things. But with a little Christmas magic, mm. oh, yeah. wow. Reagan's wish comes true. Santa brings her father, U.S. Army Sergeant Bobby Walters, home to her from Iraq. 
From the look on Reagan's face, she had no idea Santa would even be able to help her. I didn't know. I was just hoping he would be able to. Hi, sweetie. And if Santa did, she wanted to make sure he could find her dad. I told him that I wanted my dad for Christmas and showed him a picture of my dad, so he brought home the right dad. We have a good relationship with Santa, but I didn't know if this one was going to happen. But Santa came through. Extra homemade milk and cookies. We're going to oh, have to make yes. some. And a seven-year-old little girl has her Christmas wish. Uh, Tell Santa thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mary Jellica, ABC6, on your side. Our Rebecca Medina joins us now live from Tampa International Airport, where it all went down earlier today. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. I have to say that I've covered a lot of these reunions as a journalist, many right here at Tampa International Airport, but this one was really special for me. It's the first time in a long time that I have personally been brought to tears, and this particular reunion, and you'll see why, actually gave me chills. Okay, I don't see her. Carol Howard anxiously waited at the gate to the American Airlines terminal at Tampa International Airport, counting the minutes before she'd see her daughter's face, before she'd hold her again for the first time in 16 months. There she is. Then the doors to the shuttle opened, and out came the young woman Carol calls a scrapper, private first class Cassandra Lewis, and Carol couldn't wait any longer. After 16 months of emails and phone calls, this mom really knows her baby is okay. And for the soldier's little brother who's following in her footsteps, this moment is his reassurance he's making the right decision as he deals with being deployed in December. You ready to go home? Then in the midst of the tears, the relief and the joy, came the voice of an angel. Listen to the song they're playing. But where was the voice coming from? Nine-year-old Alia Ocasio, the granddaughter of a Korean War veteran, told me that was the least she could do to say, Welcome home, soldier. She's helping our country and all that, and I'm really proud of that, and I like that. Before I joined the Army and before I deployed it, it was a song like, you know, it was our national anthem, but then once you, once you truly fight for it and you, you do lose battle buddies and you do, you do go through some rough times in war, then you, you learn to, you, the song means so much more. So much more to this family of soldiers whose sacrifice can truly never be repaid. And Private First Class Lewis is not done just yet. She'll be redeployed in January. This time she'll be headed to Afghanistan. Her baby brother will be headed to Iraq in December. Their mom tells me that the next year or so is going to be filled with a lot of worry and a lot of fear, but she said mostly with a lot of pride. We're live at Tampa International Airport tonight. Rebecca Medina, ABC. At the end of the school year comes awards, certificates, and medals, but for one Hardin County fifth grader, she only wanted one thing, a memory that will last a lifetime. WLKY's Colin Mayfield shows us her graduation surprise. Grace Reyes, it was a fifth grade graduation that she'll always remember because of a promise made by a father a year ago. Would that person please come forward? <laughs> 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 Major Julian Reyes was stationed overseas, but he promised his daughter he would be back, no matter what. My command released me early, actually, so I'd be able to uh, come in and make it and don't have to come back to Korea. As certificates of completion were passed out to her peers, Grace was called last. Unaware of her father's presence, there was a bit of confusion for Grace as the surprise played out. I was like... I, I didn't know what they were doing. But then, a sight she hadn't seen in more than 365 days. I'm happy. I missed him and I love him. And the emotion was felt all over the room. Later, Grace told us why it's so emotional having her dad gone thousands of miles away and the challenges it presents. It's hard and it's hard to be without him. And 
it's, it's hard to go through school. I made it. I, that's probably basically why, why she wants to, she wants to, you know, tell her that I made, I made the promise that I, I made it. And while the family gets as much time with Julian as they can, he tells us he will be deployed back to Afghanistan next November. From Hardin County, I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. And Grace also received awards to recognize her attendance and her good academic standing.